Rosemary Good tells us her story in Artichoke's Heart. Some people know her by the nickname Artichoke. Why do you suppose that is? Is it because she comes from a family of farmers? Nope. Because those spiky vegetables are her favorite? No again. She's known as Artichoke because one day she wore a puffy green coat to school, one that she had wanted for a long time and that her single mom had finally been able to buy for her when it was on sale, but after the pink one that she really wanted was all gone. And someone thought that coat made her look like an artichoke, so she got the name and it stuck. You've probably guessed by now that Artichoke's Heart is realistic fiction. Rosemary is 16 years old and she tops the scale at around 200 pounds. Chocolate bars and cheese curls are two of her best friends. She tries to fly under the radar in the small southern town and school, but that's hard to do when your mom is the owner of Heavenly Hair, the most popular hair salon in town. Rosie's mom and aunt are always trying to change her. For Christmas, they gave her a treadmill, a trip to a fat girl conference, and counseling that she had to be tricked into attending. Not surprisingly, none of that worked until Rosie discovers that her mom has cancer. That gave her a jolt that started her on a year of change and growing toward self-acceptance. She's helped along by new, surprising relationships with a couple of friends who aren't food products. Read Artichoke's Heart if you like stories with quirky, kick-butt characters, if you liked huge, payback time, or these well-told, character-driven stories, then you just might enjoy Artichoke's Heart as well.